This is the king. God told him, Senebamon. This is not the king I have chosen. Mama, read. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth. Yes! For man looketh on the outward. Ha fine! I go go crop in here. Where you go look there. Where you go tear tear here. Where you go down on start. Now so man they look. But God do not look here. He looks inside. So you see, when you want you to come, when you want to come into contact, whatever, relationship, whatever, even business partnership with somebody, there's a God out there who sees here and here. You and I will see only here. So the one that sees here and here seek his consent. Amen. You get my point? Yes. Ask him. He will direct you as to which way to, to take. He will. He speaks to us in a diverse ways. If that person at the end of the day is going to end up a wrong relation, God will direct you. Amen. True. I want to enter into a relationship with somebody, a little thing angers him. When it happens two, three times, pray about it. Don't put your head inside. Seek the face of God. It's very important. Yes. Very, very important. Yes. Hallelujah. Mama read. But the Lord looketh on the heart. Yes. Then Jesse called Abinadab. He called Abinadab. And made him pass before Samuel. Abinadab came to pass. And he said. Someone said. Neither hath the Lord chosen God is not chosen this one too. Read. Then Jesse made Shama to pass. Shama also came to pass. And he said. Huh? Neither hath the Lord chosen this. Shama too is not correct. Again. Uh -huh. Jesse made seven of his sons to pass. Seven solid strong Samuel. guys. Seven men. Seven great boys. God told Papa Jesse, none of these seven is qualified for the kingship. Seven. You go through three disappointments and say God has forgotten you. Seven guys. Go show all of them red card. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, Amen. 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 You try it one, two, and it fell, and you have given up. No, now. So long as there is life, there is hope. Amen. Keep on keeping on. In his time, God makes all things beautiful. There is a set time of the Lord. But the group was, ah, I don't care ever. Set time of the Lord. Where is it? Computer man. <laughs> Computer man. Hey, Psalm 102. Oh, yes. Psalm 102, verse 12 and 13. Computer man, let's check there and see. If it is not there, this one, no military man will catch me. <laughs> Computer man! Or oh, is this Psalm 103? No, Psalm 102 now. Nah. Computer man! Ah. Oh, check the picnic where you can put for trouble. <laughs> Hi! Computer, computer. Hey. Why? Is he there? Oh, my computer, my. Psalm 102. You open there? Verse 12 and 13. Read for me. Computer, my is sleeping. And he's not coming up. Who? Computer, my go up. Huh? But thou, O Lord. But thou, O Lord. Shalt endure forever. Shall endure forever. And thy remembrance unto all generations. Yes. Thou shalt arise mm -hmm. and have mercy upon Zion uh -huh. for the time to favor her. Uh -huh. Yea, the set time is come. Uh, yeah. A set time. There is a set time of the Lord. There is a set time. God in his wisdom has set a time for each and every one of us. Our time will come. There is a set time. He said, you will arise and have mercy on Zion. Zion is you, Zion is me. For the time to favor Zion is come, the set time is now. There is a set time, I wonder. There is a set time. There is a set time. Yeah. Tell your friend, there is a set time. There is a set time. Yes, there is a set time. <laughs> there is a set time. Hallelujah. Amen. So hold on fast. Don't let the devil lie to you. Amen. Remember, God loves you. 
and he know the best for you. Sha, 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 sha. <laughs> My dear brothers in the world, you may be going through some trials and you think that God is very far away. You have fasted, you have prayed. And it seems the more you pray, and the more your problems multiply for you. And you don't know what to do. That this God that we serve, he never fails, he never lies, and his promise he will do. So brother, hold on fast. Don't let the devil lie to you. Remember, God loves you and he knows the best for you. Cha, 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 cha. I feel like I'm a boy. I'm a boy. I'm a boy. We serve a good God, oh. We really serve a good God. Hallelujah. Oh, amen. amen. Oh, amen. amen. Seven solid guys. God told the prophet, I have not chosen any of them. Read, mama. And Samuel said unto Jesse, And then someone said unto the father of the Lord children, I have not chosen uh -huh. these. Read. And Samuel said unto Jesse, And the Samuel said unto him, Are here all thy children? This is one of my saddest quotes in scripture. Anytime I read and I get here, I like, <laughs> Anytime I am reading and I get there, straight away I become sad. My reason for being sad is that after the man has called seven of his sons, he stopped calling. Meanwhile, you know that there is another one. He took the prophet to ask. The prophet asked, are these all your sons? Number one, he called. He came with him. Number two, he called. He called number three, four, five, six, seven. Then he stopped. But the answer to anoint was still on the prophet. But the person to anoint was not there. The father who is calling to have stopped calling. And then the prophet asked, are these all your sons? Are you sure, Pastor? Because the feeling we are taking can anoint is still there. Uh -huh. But the person we are for anoint time, you know they. You do, you keep quiet. You know they call again. Wait till now. And then the father told the prophet, Oh, there is that small one, that boy. He watches over there in line. He's taking the sheep to. Feed them in the field. And then the prophet told them, Adam, you must send for that guy. Till he comes, none of us can sit down. We must stand and wait for the bushman to come before he will face it. That is the set time of the Lord. Amen. If you do not come, nothing can go on. May the good Lord grant you that favor. Amen. Hallelujah. Your decision will be solid before any meaningful thing can be done in the house. That is the doing of the Lord. It was a sad time for that boy in the forest. Hallelujah. Come to think of it. The family business was being taken over by the smallest among the children. It's sad. They are farmers. Peace and families. Senior guys are home. The small boy will be the smallest among the being carried the more worthy. Be. He goes and then he makes money, and the money comes to the coffers of the family, and they use him eating. Yet all the seniors are at home. The small boy, Naidi for Bush. That is lie. I don't know what has happened to you and you think you dear your case there. People must help you by all means. God must do something. It's like it's like you are being rejected here. 
David was a stepchild. For that matter, even his seniors were asleep. He, small boy, under age. Because of his age, he was not qualified to be in the army. He was taking the charge of the whole family business. You complain? No. But I'm complaining will give. Now, when God lies that of David against you and you just oppose it, you don't have a case. Our marking scheme is the Bible. Our marking scheme is the Bible. Hallelujah. Amen. And they told this man, until that your boy comes from the, the bush, nobody will sit down. And Papa, they stand. Seven strong brothers, all of them, they stand. What did they wait? Make this guy from the bush make it come before they could sit. One day they'll wait for you. Amen. Oh, it's true. They'll wait. Yes. They will all stand. There comes a time in every boy, mostly women, that everybody else must stand for you to come. Do you remember? You don't know that. Yes. Yes. Oh, what, what is the name? Hey. <laughs> On that day of your wedding day, if the president happens to be the tutorial where you are going to be wedded, you stand up. Because if that announcement goes in, he does not stand up. Everybody will look at him as a Satan. <laughs> so the moment they mention the woman or the bridegroom is coming, everybody in that place must stand up on the red carpet. You will be coming alongside a melodious song. Where coming you can be the mascataya. <laughs> It's a glorious sight. And, and it's the one thing that enemy does not like. That is why he pushes you to go in there, destroy yourself, even before it gets to that time. Anything that will glorify you, the enemy does not like. He doesn't want you to be glorified. He doesn't want you to be happy. He wants you always to be crying. Thinking about how hard things are for you. That is his joy. I will not allow him to be happy because of us. Oh. Hallelujah. And they were waiting for this bushman from, from forest. And then he set off to come. And he was coming. They called him. Your papa said, make you come. And he said, oh, how? It is not time for me to get home, man. My animals, they eat morning, afternoon because of the sun. I don't feed them. So I'm waiting for the sun to go down before I give them their last, you know, before I come. They say, Master, today, dear, leave the last one. If you don't come, your father will get sick because he's supposed to stand and wait for you to come. <laughs> if you were to be me, like I'll go the next day. Have a moment, you know, I'm going to go But that boy came, hallelujah. And then he has to pass the number seven, the number six, five, four, three, two, one. And then from eight, he becomes number one. That is the overtaking anointing. Mm. It hits you from the bottom and carries you to the front. Amen. And tonight, that overtaking anointing will come upon somebody here. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. If you believe it, it works for you. Hallelujah. Yeah. When I was coming from Ghana, I brought my home. I have my home in New York. I have a home. I have a Nigeria <laughs> Bemme. It's a symbol of strength. Hallelujah. Oh, amen. amen. I went to Mayanka and took it from the Mayanka man when they killed the Nigeria. And I designed a camera to smile. <laughs> my pastors, the one that is good, I used to anoint. If you are stubborn, I will not anoint you with one. <laughs> In my church, if if you are a good person, I will anoint you with a horn. If you are not, no horn. <laughs> Everybody else knows that is how I am. You come to church, you don't pay your tithe, no horn. <laughs> you will get the ordinary anointing. <laughs> It's a sin not to tithe in the church. It's a sin. 
You are destroying your children's future. This is what I keep on saying. If you don't tight, you are destroying your children's future. You just sit down and watch. You put your children in danger. If you come to church and you are giving offering and you refuse to give, it is not like you are wise amount. No. You are bring you know. It's not good not to give. It is bad. It's a sin. You destroy this boy's future. If your father does not tight, worry him to tight. Your father. <laughs> Thank you. You're in the house. If he does not, if he was in the house, stop. <laughs> if your father does not tight, worry him to tight. And tell him he must tight because of your future. Now when you also grow, you continue tightening. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, amen. amen. You don't do yourself good, though, if you refuse to tight. No. It's against your own life. It's not good. Just do it. God knows your strength. God knows how much you have. He knows how much you can give. Because see, he said the hair on our head, he knows the number. So there's nothing about us that he does not know. You don't tithe because of the pastor. No. You tithe for yourself. And because you want to be obedient to God. It's very important. Hallelujah. Oh, amen. amen. You see that poor boy in the forest? Ah, Mama, read. There remaineth yet the youngest. Uh -huh. Behold, uh -huh. he keepeth the sheep. Uh -huh. And Samuel said unto Jesse, uh -huh. Send and fetch him, uh -huh. for we will not sit down. We will not sit down until he comes. Yes! Nobody will sit down. But then they go and come back. So, my I am transit. What time is go going to But they back. That day will come home. They will wait for me. Yeah. Some, some about... Is it about seven or five years ago? They waited for me to come before. My senior brother died. That time I was having a program in Italy. And they called to tell me, That's my senior brother. You know how he died? He was in the farm. Life, eh? If you joke with your life, it will destroy you just like that. He is in the farm, oh! My grandfather's cocoa farm was left in the bush to spoil, destroy or to, totally. And then this guy said he will go and bring back the, the, the food. He will restore it. And he went to stay there for about six months. He withered the land. He cleared all unwanted weeds under the cocoa. And when it was getting to one year, the thing started becoming fruitful. And then the family members say, you should go away from there. He say, me? I should go? That man is my grandfather. You left it here, and I came to make it fine. You are not coming to take it. You lie. Then carry cutlass. Go stay there. He, he went to stay in the forest for almost three months. He was there. Why are you there, man? Bruh. If you are a man, come. And then one day, he said he was there. A tree, tree, you know tree, a yeah? timber tree in the forest was chasing him. Uh huh. But there you go, no say something there for life. <laughs> the tree in the forest, so they don't cut the tree. The tree is there. Tree, okay, let's say that this pillar in the forest carry himself in the chase out. <laughs> you see, say there's no sense in it, but that kills him. And he told me he was running and the two were following him and then he fell down. The next thing he was at the hospital, government hospital. The next day he was a dead body. Joke with your life. They killed him all. When you ask him to come to church and pray, he will be quoting you Bible. He will tell you the white man, when he was bringing the Bible in the ship, I put she was also in the ship. <laughs> <laughs> My senior brother, one father, one mother. I come after him direct. <laughs> he called me Friday morning. And then he told me he had been admitted to the hospital. And that is what he saw the next day. The next day was in the hospital. The next morning, the next call that came was his death. 
Sad, so sad. Today I'm sad. But I'm not supposed to be sad on Fridays. But I'm sad. I'm a Friday born, so me, I don't get sad on Friday, but this guy makes me sad, man. And Papa to remind me my father is deaf. <laughs> but because he said, he's going to give me his house, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and then they called me. The family had met. They were deciding on the date for the barrier and the funeral. And their date crashed with my program in Italy. And then I told them, I have to go to Italy and come back before the funeral can come on. And then they told me that it means they have to keep the body in the freezer for six months. And I asked them, go to them, watch the mind, and ask them how much the six months will cost. And then they brought the cost. And then I tell them, make it seven months, add one more month. I will pay all the cost. Wait for me to go and come before you bury them. They waited for me. <laughs> They will wait for you. <laughs> when God places you at your level in life, they will wait for you. Amen. So don't destroy your life. Amen. Hold on to that time. Amen. That set time will come. Amen. They will wait for you. Yeah. Now, when they are taking, uh, before, if the family go take the minute, they go call me. Oh, poo. I thought you foolish boy like that. They don't go call. Before they won't call me. Oh. But now they will call. Shit. I'm not that man of God. You see me for television. You don't go call me. You go call me. <laughs> you call me. I should there for your house. You are watching TV. They make my advert. They are come for top. You won't. You won't go YouTube. You Google my name. You see me for film. You don't go call me. You go call. <laughs> it is time. Before it wasn't like that. Every one of us have a unique thing that somebody will need in one day. Amen. Don't destroy your life. There is something peculiar, unique about your life. Amen. About every one of us yes. do not destroy your life. Yes. Yes. That's the time will come. Yes. Like this bush boy watching the entry. Now he is coming. Seven solid strong guys have been lined up. They all can pass. God told the prophet, I have not chosen any of them. Seven. And then on my eight. Right from booze coming eight seven six five four three two one. Now he becomes one. They're not going to be your Your time will come, Amen. bro. Your time will come. Amen. Hallelujah. Rina, make her close. And he sent and brought him in. Uh -huh. Now he was ready <laughs> and with all of a beautiful countenance uh -huh. and goodly to look. He was what beautiful countenance. Huh? And the Lord said, huh? Beautiful what? Countenance. Beautiful countenance. <laughs> Just a little horn fan. Or your Obama or so, bar. And they are describing as beautiful. You know, beauty is used for women, right? But when a man looks pretty, why I can't preach? I don't know how to follow. I don't know how to can't follow. I don't know how to follow. I He is described in literature as a beautiful boy. But David was that nice. He was more than handsome. Yet he was in the forest. I said to a dream near Branch of University. Not Tom Pan or Lord. What do Shepherd be a brow with the bubble? If you joke with your life, somebody will destroy you just like that. You see that nice boy? There for forest. Amen. But the time of the Lord reached for him. My own time will come. Hallelujah. Your own time too will come. Hmm? Read that. And the Lord said. And the Lord said. Arise. Arise. Anoint him. Anoint him. For this is he. This statement. Seven boys come. They want this statement. They never heard. Arise. Anoint him. For this is he. Seven solid guys. So statement. It is not easy, Kakao. How you are, where you have got into, how you look, where you feel, say, God no make you well. Somebody want I no get. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Somebody is struggling for it. So you have to bless the name of the Lord for how far his promise. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. 
Hallelujah. 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 And the Lord told someone, Arise, anointing for this is He. That statement will come one day for you, bro. So hold on fast. Do not let the devil lie to you. Remember that God loves you. And he wants the best for you. And is prepared for a set time. Hallelujah. Understand and hold to it that so long as there is life, there is hope. Yes. That day will always come. And how much money do they want? Ah, hold on, man. I'll give you correct guy. <laughs> Wife, proper one where you know how to prepare food. <laughs> Good food, not in crack that way in Sweden as well grow up. No. <laughs> Davi, Sad and the back. That time will come. Hallelujah. Mama, read and let me close her. Then Samuel <laughs> took the horn of oil. He took a horn of oil. And anointed him. And then anointed him in the midst of his brethren. Of his brethren. Read. And the spirit of the Lord came upon him. What came upon him? The spirit of the Lord. What came upon him? The spirit of the Lord. It is not the oil that came upon him. In the spirit of the Lord. Amen. So when we pour oil, the spirit of the Lord comes. Amen. And wherever the spirit of the Lord is, the Bible says there is liberty. Amen. So tonight, the spirit of the Lord will come upon you. Amen. By reason of the oil that is going to be poured on your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, amen. amen. Oh, amen. amen. We are going to pray to God and ask for divine grace over our lives. Amen. David carried the horn anointed. Samuel got the bottle of anointing. Jehu, there is a man in the Bible, his name is Jehu. God asked Isaiah to go anoint him with a flask of oil. Flask into a chair. They are doing so she boon and then they cost right Jehu. Flask. You know flask? You put hot water for tea. That man called Jehu was anointed with a flask. David was home. Saul was bottle. All be anointed, but differ the symbol. With which they were anointed. So the symbol with which one is anointed determines the level you can be. It's very important. Hallelujah. Oh, amen. amen. I was contemplating, you know, asking God, why horn for David and not bottle for him just like you did to Saul? And God told me to wait and see. As time goes on, I'll come to understand. And I said, God, I want to understand now. Because me at the York with your name. I don't want to go stand somewhere in York where they go ask me where I know if you tell me anything. So if you go give me the gist, give me and say, hold on, man. I got time for everything. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. And then I decided to hold on. In about a few days' time, there was war. There was battle between Israel and Palestine. The Bible said they agree on the thing. You bring a strong man, you bring a strong man. Not all the soldiers are going to fight. Only these two leaders. And the one that is able to overpower the other, will all become your subordinates. And then they brought in this giant. But you know the guy. His name is Goliath. And the Bible says for 40 solid days, for zero, he comes and insults Israel. Everybody goes sleeping. The moment he opens arms, Hey, if there's a man here, let him come and face me. I will finish our way for this year. Bible says, the moment he made such a statement, the entire Israel, including Saul, who is the king, who is supposed to lead them in battle, they all ran into bed. <laughs> so sad. For 40 days, nobody goes out, no feeding, no farm, no water. You stay in the room 40 days. <laughs> Now going out to cry in the air, then now I'm going to now said He blocks every system. And then on the faithful day, the father of David sent him to go and give food to his brethren on the battlefield. And then this guy decided to go. Incidentally, when David was getting closer, this man was coming. His usual rounds, coming to shout and insult. And then he came. Hey, who dare here where you go talk? The one where you say, be man, make it calm. There's a body in the line. Then say, ah! Why are you guys in the grave? This guy where you insult his life. And you brought a 
Elle chantait la vie. Que quoi elle Elle est en train de dire la segment et c'est dans la course. David tried to make a statement that it was for a reason. That is why he has gotten there at that material time. It is for a reason that everybody else is at home and we are here in church. There's a reason for that. And it's my prayer that that reason will materialize good things in our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, I said hallelujah. Amen. 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 And somebody came around. And he told them, have you seen that man coming? He is just coming to insult us all. He will insult Israel and go. And the king said, the one that is going to be able to kill him, he will make him rich, papa. All his family, forever in his life, will be a rich person. The king will give that person one of his daughters to marry. And David made cross. <laughs> <laughs> the moment he heard about marriage, Ayamatosa, he was going to take the challenge. Forever his house will not be tasked. Transition off from the family. And what are they because this guy had to kill him? And the people were telling him that even so told David you can't because this man has been fighting since childhood. Ah. Oh boy, come. Hurry up. Yeah, man. How are you? I'm with a good idiot. No, I'm back. Send yes. Master, come. Yeah, man. Hey, take your time. So you see. This boy is throwing a challenge to this man. To human understanding, it is madness. Now, if you want to get a picture well of David and Goliath, this is a replica. If you like, when you go to the Bible, look at the measurements. They are all there. Goliath like this cannot enter into this room. You have to lift the ceiling. <laughs> ah, you check. Huge and tall. Like a basketball player, another one day for you talk. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Our God that we serve is so powerful and God. Yes. Hallelujah. Ah, read for here, let me see. Chapter 17, verse baby. 17, verse what? Huh? Verse baby. <laughs> Let's go to 40 and let me see. 17. Huh? 40. Read. Then he took his staff in his hand. Did this guy took his staff in his hand, coming to face this man. He fell like this. Hey, take my time. I'm quite bad. You will beat him. <laughs> and chose five smooth stones yes. out of the brook. Yes. And put them in his shepherd's lunch bag. Yes. Ah. And put them in a shepherd's bag, which he had, even in a script. And his sling was in his hand. And he drew near to the Philistine. Uh huh. And the Philistine came on and drew near unto David. Yes! And the man that bare the shield went before him. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him. He looked down upon David. For he was but a youth. And yes! ruddy and of a fair countenance. Go! And the Philistine said unto David. And the Philistine said unto David. Am I a dog uh -huh. that thou comest to me with staves? Uh -huh. And the Philistine cursed David by his God. He did what? Cursed David by his God. He did what? Cursed David. Why? You said he's a small boy. He said you are not a dog. Why must you come to battle with a stone and a tie? What is the need for calling on God to come and help you? You got my point? Yeah. He is not cursing. Meanwhile, you did not come there to curse. You came to 
fight. You have your weapons. You ask whether you are a dog that Israel will bring such a small boy to come and face you. And then from there, no, curse. What have you seen? Do you have what friend Kromosom? I know the boy David Dubia. He is now invoking the gods of his land into the battle. And the moment Goliath opened his mouth to curse David, that is the point that David realized he has won the battle. Mm. But the moment he brought gods into it, the battle is no more David and Goliath. It is the gods of Goliath against the god of David. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. That is how come David won. Oh. It was no more a David and a Goliath. Oh. See, oh. That is why you see, if you do not pray, you are destroying yourself. Oh. This happens spiritually before it comes into physical. Amen. Things just don't happen. Oh. Just like a man looks into the mirror and there's a shadow out there. When you walk in the sun and you see your shadow, everything has a shadow. There's a spiritual thing that goes on before it manifests into the physical. You know what? When you saw this guy, you know the Bible said that when the oil came upon him, the spirit of the Lord came upon him. You realize that thing? So at a point, there's a manifestation of the spirit. That is what he saw. And he was afraid. He will, he will just grown up to be a huge figure and then he'll come back to be a kitty boy. <laughs> and the guy said, Wow, this is no easy. I'm to soon I'm a priyatamaya. Anytime they call their ghost, we will call our God. Amen. And that is how it must be. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It was now a battle between the God of David as against the God of Goliath. And God of David won the battle that day. Amazing, isn't it? Amen. Can you tell me this boy will flood this guy? Meanwhile, they kill you. <laughs> when you cut your head. Go, you die, go. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know the the nature, the, the cow, his strength is in the horn. Yes. Here they have mechanism of killing. But back home, if you want to kill a cow, you get hold of the horn. The moment you hold the two horn, you bring his strength down. That is the time. At time they will tie it before they kill it. So the strength of the cow is in the horn. So when somebody is anointed with the horn, it means spiritually they are infusing the horn's anointing into his life. So he carries the strength of the cow. That is why everybody else was afraid, but he wasn't. And when you are anointed with the horn of oil, you receive the strength of David. Yes. Ah, I'm sad. I did not bring my horn. <laughs> it's in New York. I have an ordination service to do in Atlanta. And that pastor asked me, he called more than 20 times for me to bring my horn. I was afraid to bring it. I thought they would be asking, asking me questions. So the way he was asking, he was regular. Me too. I don't like rough things. So I went to the immigration about a week before coming. And I asked. And they told me I can bring it. Before I put it in my bag. When I'm in family, I'm in my pants. I'm in my I went there to ask before I bring I wish I had brought it to Greaseboro. But to now, I've used the whole poem to be Hallelujah. But we are going to take the oil. Amen. We will pray with the oil. I just want you to believe that when the oil comes upon you, it transforms your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you put your hands together for this man? Amen. Can I get one of my, my oil? I bought the oil myself. I decided not to tell Papa. So I bought it. Amen. I bought it. Amen. 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 
we are all going to partake of the anointing. In his book, The Healing Bound, Bush of David Oyedepo write, and I quote, at the drugstore, this oil is a chemist. But in the hand of the man of God, it is a mystery. At the supermarket, this one is a kitchen material for cooking rice and frying eggs. But in my hand, as I stand here, it is a mystery. So I beg you, if you get this oil, don't take all cooked food. This one is a holy anointed oil. I slept on it on my bed. And I prayed. I have prayed over it. And we are all going to receive the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Today I want everybody to give fat offering. Like thousand, like five hundred, like one million. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 I will get some people to give $270 as a seed of covenant to support the church. It is not easy for somebody to travel from Africa and come. By all means, look at my hotel that I'm sleeping. My bed, bakata. I feel sleep like this. Then I cross, then I cut. <laughs> <laughs> we should not leave the course on the man of God. Hallelujah. We have to support the church and pray over the oil. Amen. $270 is not the cost of this, but you are sowing a seed for the church and God spiritually. At any point you apply the oil, his spirit will descend to work favor on your behalf. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Put Proverbs 21 20. Computer man, Anna. Yes, 21 20. Computer man. Computer man. Hi. Computer man. Hi. She was a check picnic. Computer man, they check me click in the of a compound. You are a computer man? Is this side there? A quarter nation, you call it Hallelujah. I want you to begin to open your mouth and thank the Lord for His word. Let's thank God for His word. We are going to receive the unction of the oil. The oil is going to come upon you. Pray to God for divine grace and favor. The moment the oil touches you, may the Lord visit you. Libo Zimando Sataba. Talk to your God. Mande Bredobosha. Kapanti Bibo Satatobi. Let the presence of God be here. Ayanta Babo Satabode. Lebron di Bibo Sakataba. I said 21 or not 29. Lebo Sakaba Baba. Itabandi Bibo Sakato. My Lord and my God. Manta Bronde Baba. Prepare yourself. Go to God in prayer. Tell God. Sanctify yourself. Anything that you know that is not good, is not pleasant to God. Let the Holy Spirit clear it from you before we go for the anointed service. Talk to God. Rabo Sata Baba. 2120. Go up. Manda Brose. E, computer man. Computer man. Yes. There is treasure to be desired and oil in the dwelling of the wise. By a foolish man spending it up. In the dwelling of the wise, there is treasure and oil. So when you are able to see it for the oil, don't destroy the oil. Anytime you are believing God for divine favor, you anoint yourself. You anoint your children with it. You anoint your doorpost with the oil. For the angelic presence to be there continually. After everything, if you want to take the oil, see me, so that see, I will give you the oil. Can we please be on our feet? 
Tumbi wa Jesus Emuna mensaka Atumbi wa Jesus Emuna mensaka Atum It is Emuna Make it come home Don't know what to say Emuna Mia Mati Atumbi wa Jesus Oh, Adumbi. You don't know how to sing? Emuna Misaka. Sing it. Adumna Metiasi. Emuna Meke Kameho. Emuna Mie Mati. Aduma. Unto Jesus, I 